ഹലോ ആൾ മൈ നമ്മെ സജി കുമാർ അസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് പ്രൊഫസർ മെക്കാനിക്കൽ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഫ്രം റോഹിനി കോളേജ് ഓഫ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ടെക്നോളജി ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ സബ്ജെക്റ്റ് പ്രിൻസിപ്പൾസ് ഓഫ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് ദ സബ്ജെക്റ്റ് കോഡ് ഇസ് എം ജി എയ്റ്റ് ഫൈവ് നയൻ വൺ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ആൾ വി വോണ്ട് ടു നോ ദ സിലബസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് യൂണിറ്റ് ഓഫ് പ്രിൻസിപ്പൾസ് ഓഫ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് യൂണിറ്റ് ടോപ്പിക് ഇസ് ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ടു മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻസ് under this we are going to discuss about definition of management signs of art manager versus entrepreneur types of managers managerial roles and skills evaluation of management scientific human relations system and contingency approaches types of business organizations sole proprietorship partnership company public and private sector enterprises organization culture and environment current trends and issues in management then we want to know the course outcome of the first unit of principles of management after successful completion of the course the students should be able to understand the evaluation of management culture and types of organization the highest cognitive level we are giving for this unit 1 is k2 that is understanding level In this video we are going to discuss about the introduction to management the roles of managers types of managers and the functions of management first of all we want to know what is management management involves coordinating and overseeing the work activities of others so that their activities are completed efficiently and effectively Management is a process of planning, decision making, organizing, leading, motivating and controlling the human resources, financial, physical and information resources of an organization to reach its goals efficiently and effectively. Then we want to know who are managers. Someone who coordinates and oversees the work of other people so that organizational goals can be accomplished. the managers are the important part of the organization to achieve the goals of an organization then we want to know the classification of managers managers are classified as first line managers middle line managers and top level managers who are the first line managers individuals who manage the work of non managerial employees are known as first line managers who are the middle level managers individuals who manage the work of first line managers are known as middle level managers and who are the top level managers individuals who are responsible for making organization taking wide decisions and establishing the plans and goals that affect the entire organization is known as the top level managers and this is the flow chart of manager level of an organization the top managers or the top of an organization under that there is middle level managers and under that there is first line managers and the non managerial employees are the last part of the management then this is the important topic that is functions of management planning directing organizing staffing and controlling are the functions of the management these are the main components of the management first of all we want to know what is planning defining goals establishing the strategies to achieve goals developing the plans to integrate and coordinate activities or the main components in planning it is a basic function of management planning is the basic function of management it deals with chalking out a future course of action and deciding in advance the most appropriate course of actions for achievement of predetermined goals planning is the deciding in advance what to do when to do and how to do it bridges the gap from where we are and where we want to be a plan is a future course of actions it is an exercise in problem solving and decision making planning is the determination of courses of action to achieve the desired goals this planning is a systematic thinking about ways and means for accomplishment of predetermined goals planning is necessary of predetermined goals planning is necessary to ensure proper utilization of human and non human resources it's all purposive 
it is an intellectual activity and it also helps in avoiding confusion uncertainties at risk waste stages etc next directing we want to know what is directing directing involves motivating the subordinates that means the employees in that organization influencing individuals or teams as they work selecting the most effective communication channels it is the part of management function which activates the organizational methods to work efficiently for achievement of the organizational purposes it is considered life spark of the enterprise which sets in motion the action of people because planning organizing and staffing are the preparations for doing the work direction is that interpersonal aspect of management which deals directly with influencing guiding supervising motivating the employees for the achievement of the organizational goals direction has in the elements of supervision motivation leadership and communication supervision implies overseeing the work of the employees by their superiors it's the act of watching and directing the workers motivation means inspiring stimulating or encouraging the subordinates with zeal to work positive negative monetary non monetary incentives may be used for this purpose so next we want to know what is organizing arranging and structuring what to accomplish organizational goals is known as organizing it's the process of bringing together physical financial and human resources and developing productive relationship among them for achievement of organizational goals to organize a business is to provide it with everything useful or its functioning that is raw materials tools capital and personnel to organize a business involves determining and providing human and non human resources to the organizational structure organizing is a process it involves identification of activities classification of grouping of activities assignment of duties delegation of authority and creation of responsibility coordinating authority and responsibility relationship next we want to know what is staffing the process of hiring eligible candidates in the organization or company for specific positions in management the meaning of staffing is an operation of recruiting the employees by evaluating their skills knowledge and then offering the them a specific job roles accordingly it is a function of uh, man the organization structure and keeping it manned staffing has assumed greater importance in the recent years due to advancement of technology increase in size of business complexity of human behavior etc the main purpose of staffing is to put right man on right job that is square bags in square holes and round bags in round holes Managerial function of staffing involves manning the organization structure through proper and effective selection, appraisal and development of personnel to fill the roles designed on the structure. And the staffing involves manpower planning, training and development, remuneration, performance appraisal, promotions and transfer. And the last component of function function of management is controlling. Controlling involves monitoring comparing and correcting the work of the employees it implies measurement of accomplishment against the standards and correction of deviation if any to ensure achievement of the organizational goals so next we want to know the roles of management management roles there is three management roles are that interpersonal roles informational roles and decision roles so first we want to know what is interpersonal roles roles that involve interacting with other people inside and outside the organization so interpersonal roles have two types that is figureheads and leader 
figure guides includes symbolic duties which are legal or social in nature and leader influence all aspects of being a good leader this involves building a team coaching the members motivating them and developing strong relationships then we want to know what is informational roles collecting and processing uh, the, the in this roles monitor and spokesperson the important parts of informational roles monitor includes seeking information regarding the issues that are affecting the organization also this includes internal as well as external information spokesperson includes representing the organization and providing information about the organization to outsiders and the next role is decision roles whereas interpersonal roles deal with people and informational roles deal with knowledge and decision roles deal with action so decision roles are uh, the in decision roles there is entrepreneur disturbance handler resource allocator negotiator that's these are the roles in the decision roles managers as a entrepreneur it involves all aspects associated with acting as an initiator designer and also an encourager of innovation and change as a disturbance handler taking corrective action when the organization faces unexpected difficulties which are important in nature and as a resource allocator being responsible for the optimum allocation of resources like time equipment funds and also human resources etc and as a negotiator includes representing the organization in negotiations which affect the manager's scope and responsibility then we want to know what is an organization a deliberate arrangement of people to accomplish some specific purposes known as a organization that means individuals independently can run an organization a group of people working together to uh, achieve the goals of the organization so that is an organization and what is a common characteristic of organization is have a distinct purpose that means have a goal composed of people and have a deliberate structure then there is three skills manager should need that is technical skills human skills and conceptual skills technical skills of manager means the manager should have knowledge and proficiency in a specific field human skills means the ability to work well with other people and the conceptual skills means the ability to think and conceptualize about abstract and complex situations concerning the organization thank you we can able to discuss the upcoming topics and the upcoming videos thank you so much